Hey everyone, this is Joshua Nava, Nava Down South. I'm doing a part two of my Gold Zero Yeti 200X lithium portable solar generator or just a battery bank. As you see here, I, I just gave an unboxing on my first demo. I really didn't do much, so I just wanted to show uh, most of the features here that we're looking at. As you can see, I'm using the inverter to power my little Bluetooth speaker. I'm gonna charge that up. And then um, I'm powering a signal booster for my cell phone. And that's the Wii Boost. It's the newer version. I did an unboxing on that. It was a quick one, but um, I'm actually gonna show you how in the same video, me actually using it. So it's pretty cool. And I also got my iPad. I wanna show you some of the charging features of that. As you can see, just a quick review. 12 volts um i think over i think when it gets over five amps it seems to trip and um so you can't use anything like a portable air compressor or anything that would be really cool but um pretty cool on that um usb i use this all the time um charge anything quickly um a lot of, i have a lot of older usb ports and sometimes they don't charge these high powered iPad is fast enough, especially if you're using Wi-Fi or a lot of battery usage. And so the big thing is I wanted to show you these lightning to USB-C connectors. Uh, these are Anki ones. They work pretty well. I'll put the link to my Amazon. Uh, even if you don't buy it, you can just click it and see what it is. But I got a two pack of these. And then, so let me go ahead and charge that up for you and show you. So as you can see, there's a 18 watt and then there's a 60 watt uh, power display in out. That's for like a laptop. Um, I didn't want, didn't really care for testing that out. It's basically the same thing, but um, actually it might be a good idea to see if I can actually charge charge it from from there because it says in and out. Uh, but USB C right here, and then. You'll hear my dog whining in the background. So this will be a quick video so the dog can go for a walk. So, okay. This is an app, but I just wanted to show you it charging. So you can see a uh, supercharger plus a thousand milliamps. So it's actually charging pretty fast. Um, I'm not gonna do any super technical comparisons, but you can see the current right here milliamps so i really like to charge with this because it's going to charge my battery really fast and then um so everything's pretty simple there's only a blue icon when it charges and there's a percentage there's no little battery chick lays or little battery cookies that go up and down fancy and i really like this because at first i was like man i'm getting sold out because I don't they don't have the really fancy one that normally does but it uses less power and it shows a percentage level and then uh 62 percent is better than like three quarters or one half so I like that better but anyways off on off on off on and I get a lot of questions about you know how many times you can charge your iPad um I would say you know five times so you can probably charge your ipad at least five times that's conservative and uh, you can charge a laptop three or four times um so three or four times for a laptop probably five to eight times for your ipad um before you need to recharge it but i'm using all this at once um this cell phone booster is going to use up a lot of juice just anything that has to shoot out a signal and broadcast is going to use a lot more than the normal um so yeah that's a quick update um i'll try to string together some more videos to make this like a a good 10 minute youtube clip and you can probably just turn off the channel if you don't like this anymore but um i'm back at conica national forest the weather has been real rainy if you're from the south it's like a flood either drought or flood everywhere so back here beautiful day um, got some kayakers over there um, camping I'm boondocking right here and I got my 
uh, solar set up pretty good with uh, lithium batteries and power for days on here. So if I get an inverter installed in my Airstream, I won't, you know, my goal zero will be always charged pretty much. So that's pretty cool. But um, there's my dog, Maddie. It's a mad dog. Um, she's a boxer. She's almost eight years old. And um, she wants to go for a walk. So I'll just give a short update video. And um, I'll show some of my, like, overlanding boondocking setup in some other videos. But if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. And, you know, I, I'll probably just do a quick update video or something else. But I like to show me actually using the thing. So, um, real world scenario, I'm not using a heat gun or burning down the house with the, trying to break it. Just normal usage and all that cool stuff. So, talk to you guys later. Peace out. Here's the... Um Goal zero charging indicator. I showed it quickly on another video, but um, I'm still learning how to YouTube. So this is a better quality. And you have some background noise. We got to go for a walk or it's the end of the world. I'm charging it with my inverter on my car. And yeah, that's about it. give you a quick overview of the area right here um, I did some hiking videos of here but um this is uh, one of the ponds an open recreation area and uh, there's a couple of ones that I want to try out because not many people fish here so that's pretty cool